Hello friends, this is Nazmi Can. In this video I'm gonna show you a game played by the legendary grandmaster Paul Murphy. This game was played in the times when the great opening preparations and novelties doesn't play a huge role in the game, but everything is all about great sacrifices and brilliant attacks. In this game Paul Murphy plays the opening phase very forcefully and catch his opponent's king in the center and force him to resign in just in 17 moves. Okay, white player is Paul Murphy and black is Thomas Hampton. This game was played in 1858 in London. E4, E5. Generally, those times the game is uh, played with the E4 move. Knight f3, knight c6, and nowadays grandmasters mainly prefer the move bishop e5, the Ruy Lopez opening, but in those times in the 19th century, the players generally prefer the move bishop c4, the Italian or Riccio Piano opening. Bishop c5, and now the Murphy's favorite move, and after also uh, revived by two grandmasters, Fischer and also Kasparov, b4, Evans Gambit. And in the Previously examined game, Kasparov's opponent Jerome Piquet went bishop b6 and declines the gambit. And Fischer fine game, which also I examined previously, went bishop b4, as in this game. Murphy's opponent also played bishop b4, c3, bishop a5, and d4. Of course, the idea of Evans' gambit to um, play the opening phase forcefully and immediately attack the center and trying to get the ideal pawn formation by placing the pawns on e4 and d4. He takes d4 and castles. In the previously mentioned uh, game, uh, Fine played the move d takes c3, which uh, after queen b3 attacking the f7 pawn, Fischer gets a brilliant victory in just 17 moves, like in this game, but uh, after some inaccuracies by his opponent, Ruben Fine. But in this game, Thomas Hampton chose the move bishop b6, which is advocated by the uh, grandmaster and the former world champion ML Lasker, bishop b6. C takes d4. And white gets the ideal pawn formation. And black should try to destroy or weaken this pawn formation in the center. It, or he will get crushed and squeezed with this pawns in the center. d6, black wants to play bishop g4 and trying to attack the d4 square and knife, knight c3. And first and probably the last critical moment of the game and with knight f6 black made a serious mistake here. It looks logical but we will see how Murphy exploit this weakness. Instead, he should go for bishop g4, as I mentioned, and try to attack this pawn on d4, forcing, trying to force it to play d5, weaken the e5 square, or uh, by just trying to weaken white's structure. I think white can go just by playing bishop b5 and uh, to get a normal game. But after knight f6, this is uh, already a huge mistake. But I offer you to stop the video and try to figure out how Paul Murphy continues the game. But if you look further down the game, you will see Murphy pl is playing against the kings in the center. The king in center, center I also examined in the game Ali Kim Potemkin game, has two rules. If you play against the king in the center, one thing you should do is not to allow your opponent to castle and second and most important, after not allowing your opponent to castle, you should open the center of files, E and D files. In this case, this can be done by Murphy's move, E5. It seems like uh, not a very logical move, but after seeing the point, D takes E5. Now Murphy is not about to capture the pawn because this um, allows black to exchange the queens and get a normal game. 
I think better game. But to play bishop a3, to catch the king in the center by sacrificing another pawn. And now black's game look already critical. And here he choose the move bishop g4, trying to develop and somehow castle queenside. And Murphy, uh, as in the many openings, opts for attacking the f7 pawn, the opponent's weakest spot by playing queen b3 and avoiding this pin on this h5 d1 diagonal black is now um, forced to do something in order to protect here but computer suggests here the move king d7 which probably shows the seriousness of the black's position after let's say the move like queen d7 protecting the f7 square White can go for knight e5, and after knight e5, d5, followed by rook d1, attacking the knight. This game probably shouldn't last long. And in the game, bishop h5 was bishop h5 was played, and after d takes e5, one goal is achieved. D5 is open, and White is attacking the knight. Knight g4, rook a d1, attacking the queen, and it's already. Hard to advise anything for black because only move looks like queen c8 or queen b8. And after this, Paul Murphy doesn't stop playing forcefully and he's trying to open up the center by playing e6. Of course, this cannot be accepted because if takes, simply takes and queen b8 and bishop d7, you can win anything by uh, discover check like this. Rook is there, you can take everything. And mate. Okay, e6 and f6 is trying to um, avoid this trap, but now e6 pawn has a huge role, attacking force. And after queen b5, hanging piece on h5 is attacked, and white created a pin here, a4, e8 diagonal. And after bishop g6, the last move of the game is the easiest one for Murphy is to play bishop d5 and attack the c6 knight. A very nice illustrative game uh, about how to play against the king in the center. We might remember two rules. Just not to allow your king to castle first and try to open up the central files by not allowing queen exchanges or relieving exchanges the opponent hope. Okay, I hope you enjoy the game and see you in the next video.